University's Academic Staff Union, WASU, is accusing the University of Nairobi's management of contempt of court and forceful implementation of reforms at the giant institution, despite an existing conservatory order or orders barring the university from making sweeping changes. The standoff between the management, WASU, and the students has left the giant institution at a crossroad, with the vice chancellor, Professor Gitai Kiyama, insistent on restructuring the university. Efas Lagat with more details. The standoff at the University of Nairobi that has gone on for several weeks at the heart of the stalemate are sweeping reforms that the university's academic staff union, UASU, and students are strongly opposed to. UASU moved to court a fortnight ago with a petition challenging the legality of the reforms at the institution. They secured conservatory orders from the Employment and Labor Relations Court. It is, however, emerging that the changes are ongoing in contravention with the court orders. The council and the vice chancellor and their agents do not want to follow the law. Nobody is above the law in this country. Everyone should be under the law because it's the law that equalizes our actions in this country. Officials at the staff union are pointing an accusing finger at the institution's vice chancellor, Professor Gitai Kiyama, whom they say is keen on effecting changes that will see several Duasu members lose their jobs and also one that completely disregards input from the students. Any kind of reform agenda anticipated, ongoing, is actually going against conservatory orders that were issued on 21st of July. The sweeping changes, including reduction of faculties from 35 to 11, has created confusion among learners as to the channels of communication and where those affected will be studying. We had the School of Journalism and Mass Communication, we had the School of Gender Anthropology, and then we had the School of International Relations. These five schools are now reduced to two faculties, which is Faculty of Arts and Faculty of Social Sciences. But now students are feeling like, where does my course fall in? How does this affect which office I go to? How does this affect my studies as a student? It's it's utter confusion, it's utter chaos. The office of the vice chancellor failed to comment on accusations of flouting court orders, only saying the matter is currently in court. Was to insist on that any action taken before the court rules on the case is illegal and not binding. Let it be known. The court has pronounced itself. Anything else right now should be referred back to the court. We cannot haphazardly handle the university, the way it's being handled now. The institution's council has defended the changes of mergers and abolishment of multiple offices, colleges, and positions of deputy vice chancellors, all principals, and deputy principals. Furthermore, indicating that centralizing of functions is meant to reduce redundancies and improve efficiency in the institution. Elphas Lagarde, Citizen TV, Nairobi.